Hello there, a new day, a new project, a new fixing, hopefully. So now we have to deal with another TS100 victim, I may call it, and uh, another OLED. It's uh, gone. So this is mine working. It had been fixed like three years ago or something. And this is one of my friends, TS100. Same story, no more OLED display. What do we need to open it up? We need a Torx like this. And this is a number T6. We have to take the screws out all around. Let's dismantle this. You don't need anything else, just your nails here. And then we have these two cross screws or Phillips. And we need another head and this is a Phillips 00. At least that's what it's saying in my toolkit. Don't lose the screws. Getting the parts away. And now we should be able to take the board out. Then, here is very simple. We gently try to get the old OLED from the double tape here. Don't lose this because we need it later. You can use a plectrum or a wood stick like I'm doing now. Okay, we need this later. So just put it away for now. And here is the display. We need to take this out, of course. I'll use some of liquid flux. Perfect. And let's take the display out. This one, it's going up to 350. That should be enough. Be gentle, because we don't want to make a mess with the tresses here. There we go. And the display is out. Let's clean a little bit the board. And that should be enough. Well, now the piece of resistance. Here is the box. I got it today and I have like five displays. I bought them from Buy Display. And they've been really, really fast. And I got five of these, just in case. The price was pretty good. Okay, what do we have to do now? It's to prepare the tab with a little bit of flux. This is the, this is the part or the side, which will be with solder it. And let me have some flux here too. Okay, and let's prepare the tabs. Soldering. If you want to have good results, rule number one is flux. A lot of flux. Let's get this in the place. That should be okay. Well, I think you are good. Okay. What do you think? It's a fix or it's a mess? So yes, this is a fix. Absolutely perfect. Very nice and easy. Let's put the things back in place. Let me clean the area. Alcohol, of course, 
let's have the double tape in place like it was before and hopefully we are good to go but don't forget about having the display cover off okay it's looking good all I need to know now is that the display it's well it's in the center here if the display it's in the right position and I don't see why not I think it's okay no it's not the positioning of display is very simple to do we have this white line here so the, the edge of the display should be in this position like one millimeter behind this line of parts that's the right positioning clean it a little bit and back in the case and don't forget to have this piece this one goes first okay then we get the board in with the power supply right there okay and now we have these two parts the simple one goes in the front near the tip like that and before anything else let me have a test to see if we have the right positioning oh yes now it's perfect this is perfect nice and the other contact it's the one with this uh, ear let's call it and this goes in the back and as long as we are here it's very nice to have a little bit of contact spray before having everything in place back in place perfect nice okay don't over tight this the screws i'm talking about and now let's put the things together the part near the power supply should go first and as you can see we have this little metal here the front uh, one the first the very first one that should be a little pushed pushed to the front to have the plastic back in place there we go so that piece of metal should be pushed into the front i'm always consider this the front you know the the tips input okay nothing else to do but have the screws back in place with T6 you see there are three screws different sizes and it goes like this two small ones or short ones one here at the bottom another one here at the top and the, the other one number three it's also good for keeping the tips in place and there we go and it's working like new perfect 352 degrees excellent okay that's it for today i hope it's useful you'll have some photos with the original display this one here 
and with the replacement the ones I bought from uh, from by display and by the way this is not a commercial it's not a reclama for these guys please like and subscribe and I'm also waiting for your comments most important thing don't forget to have fun bye bye <laughs>